predominantly core session. So after a warm up of a bit of juggling we went into the classic that I use literally every day and that is the Ronaldinho drill. Now I usually go a bit faster than this but as I said my legs were feeling really tired. I have no idea why either. They weren't specifically worn out the days before. They were just really tired this morning and yeah as you can see I'm struggling a little bit to get used to it. But I did my best and by the end of it I'll be gaining more muscle memory because when your legs are tired and you do movements it imprints like that muscle memory and although this isn't doing exactly the same thing the muscle memory will be reacting to things getting in your way i.e. either a cone or in a match a foot. Okay, so we moved into another one where we just go into for 15 minutes. Where we just go in and around, do some skills in the box. Once again, feet aren't that quick, slightly tired, but it's about pulling off the moves here. I'm just doing a skill box, and then once I've finished, I'll turn out, and as you see, I muck up a bit. I'll turn out, and then I'll go into that dribble, and then I'll uh, have a 30 second rest and go again. Now each of these drills were all 15 minutes long. I would flicker with the flames. I was rowing over bridges, wasn't worried about the rain. I was holding on to grudges, was the jury and the judge. And when it came to the verdict, my sentences never budge. I got a lot I ain't proud of, but I got zero regrets. Had to take a few back to really look at my steps. They tried to get on my case, I saw it all in the stairs. So I slid down the railing and got the hell out of there. You know a piece of my story, you barely opened the book. You got a glance at the cover. And think you know what it took I wrote these verses in blood My DNA and my art So if you feel it, you feel in me Cause it's straight from the heart Not many can say the same Next we moved into just some moves at the cone Now we we'll just do a load of random different ones Just practicing how to take on a man in a real game Now obviously the cone's not too match realistic But it's the best I can do I'll, I'll then go as if I was going to shoot but I won't actually because there's no net so there's too much to go and get it. Today was also very very hot, it was about 25 degrees I believe so.
right so after this my camera actually cuts out in a bit but I just did some full mastery I did that for about 30 minutes I think and that was the main bulk of the session was just focusing on footwork as you can see I'm getting this quite nicely here it's something I've been working on for a while and it's finally improved but after this I then did 15 minutes of shooting and then that was about an hour and a half session done Alright, so I'm just editing today's video or what I've filmed of it so far and I do have a question because obviously this is like the third day in a row that I've done one of these types of vlogs and I think the quality of video is going through the roof, i.e. the editing and just how it looks, it looks a lot better in my opinion. But my question is, do you guys want me to continue to keep making these? Because I know I'm putting them out daily and it's obviously past the need for it in the week, but I'm enjoying doing it so I'm still gonna put them out. But if you guys don't want them as much as So we come to the second session and obviously we're with Toby again, so that means shooting. Now the reason we always do shooting with Toby is because he has so many footballs, so it's really really beneficial to <clears throat> do it with him because it means you don't always have to waste time going and looking for footballs, so it's brilliant that Toby can bring them along and also Toby's a striker as well so it suits him very nicely. And obviously we're just doing the same two kind of shots, cut on the outside and cut on the inside. And that might be a bit boring, but it's going to work because it's repetition. And if we keep repeating it every single time, we're going to get very, very good at it. Because these two are the main shots you're going to make in a match. You're not really going to make many more than this. Because they'll always either be an in curler or across the goal. Like you might take it slightly differently but there'll always be those two kind of shots so I'll just let these run out for you On my way home from the park for the second time today, my feet are absolutely knackered. Gonna go home, have some dinner, 
and I'm gonna have a nice bath and then recover. All right, so it is 10.05 now. I've just finished all my recovery. I'm about to just chill in bed for the first time in quite a while. But we are now at the end of the video, so I hope you did enjoy. As usual, follow all my socials down in the description. All the new ones as well will be down there. We've got two Instagrams, we've got Twitter, we've got Snapchat, we've got TikTok. Make sure you follow them all. If you are new around here, please subscribe because it would mean a lot. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Around 70% of you aren't subscribed. Make sure you like the video. Can we hit 200 likes? That'd be massive, thank you. And as always, keep training.